he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his house. I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. An eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth, so that you also may come to believe. For this happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage says, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus and Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Nicodemus, the one who had first come to him at night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about 100 pounds. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths along with the spices, according to the Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. We're reminded of St. Paul's words to the Philippians in which he states that our citizenship is in heaven. In other words, we are not made for here. We have a final destination beyond all of this, a true and lasting home of God. How powerfully Carrie Underwood in her own song, Temporary Home, makes this point when she sings. This is just on the way to where I am going. It is not where I belong. I am not afraid because I know that this is my temporary home. For us who remain, we are given the opportunity to ponder. What will our last words be? From where might they be spoken as we leave this temporary home? And will we be at peace with God? Now is the time for us to think deeply and to prepare well.